What is up ladies and gentlemen, it is Vans Gaming. Come on back at you live with The Walking Dead, the Road to Survival Gaming app. And this video we're going to we're going to be talking about the new elite characters that Scopely added in to the elite character wheel. Scopely did add, you know, a couple of new 3 stars, 4 stars, but nobody really cares about those, right? So I definitely wanted to go ahead and try to hash out some information about the new uh, five stars they, that they have added in here, which are, you know, pretty decent. Um, as we get to the end, you know, you're going to see probably the best five star that is in this wheel. But we're going to go ahead and start off with Whisper Into Screams Rick, um, the alert um, the alert Rick, and uh, mostly known as the Hobo Rick. So let's go ahead and check him out real quick. All right, so he has a recharge rate of 58 AP, so... It's not even 58, 56 AP, it's 58, so, you know, thank you for that scope. But, I mean, overall, his adrenaline rush deals for 400% um, damage to up to 3 enemies. All, all teammates get 40% attack for 2 turns. I mean, it's not the worst adrenaline rush in the world, especially for an alert character. I mean, he does pack a punch to three enemies and does give all your teammates 40% attack for 2 turns, so maybe... You can incorporate this tune into an offense, but I definitely would not suggest defense purposes. Um, at, you know, defense purposes whatsoever. And his stats are pretty okay. His attack 801, his defense 785, and his HP 1141. So, I mean, he's, you know, going to take some punches and he's going to be a, a okay for the most part if he doesn't get an eagle eye to his face. But other than that, he should be fine. His persona, Peacekeeper, and like I said, he is the alert trait. And, you know, like I said before, I'm not the, um, not the most fan of alerts and also a specialist skill um it's the life steal so you know if he kills if he kills an opponent i believe they regain a little bit of the hp that, of the opponent they killed but i believe that's it so nothing special on the special skill so we're gonna move on to the next one on the wheel here which is the um tough herschel made to suffer let's go ahead and check him out um, I remember I did pull really hard for this card when he came out, and I regret it um, immensely. It's it's a, it was at the time where I didn't know that adrenaline rushes were that important, but um, yeah, as you can see there, 76 AP, um, not the best recharge rate in the world. His uh, adrenaline rush, 300% damage and negative 45% attack for four turns to a line of enemies. So, um, I I honestly believe this is not the best card. But um, his leader skill, you know, not too bad. All tough teammates get 3% HP. So he's kind of like a knockoff Richard because Richard um, gets tough teammates 30% defense. Um, and they're both drop leads. So, I mean, if you had to choose, I mean, Richard is definitely better than Herschel. And I believe the majority of people have the tough um, Richard already. But, I mean, if you get him, you know, it's fine. Uh He's, I mean, if you get him, he's a 5-star, five 5-star five is a 5-star, right? And his stats, you know, obviously for a tough uh, trait, it's not too shabby. 7-7-7, seven, 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 attack, 7-9-3, seven, defense, and 1-1-1-2 one, 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 HP. So, obviously, usually tough characters have, you know, those high up stats. And his persona is a leader, so... In my opinion, guys, not the best in the wheel here, but he's definitely a noteworthy five star, you know, to mention in the wheel. Now we're going on to the next one, which is definitely not the best in um, second. Yeah, I okay, this one will be first, not the best, and then Hirsch will be second, and we'll get to that in a little bit. Andrea, all out war yellow. Let's go ahead and check her out. Um, recharge rate, the probably the worst, one of the worst recharge rates up there with Gator and Krista with 106 AP. Um, it deals 250 damage and negative 55% attack for 3 turns to 1 enemy and all the enemies adjacent to it. So if they just made this character at least maybe a 45 AP tune or maybe even a 56 would have been okay. But a 106, you know, definitely not noteworthy whatsoever for offense or even defense. I mean, I don't... I mean, I have seen, you know, defenses or offenses being used with, you know, really high, you know, recharge rates. And, you know, sometimes it works out. But I think, you know, you have to have the right weapon, definitely. You have to have the right leader, no doubt. And then the leader skill here, all fast teammates get 30% attack. And then all teammates get a medium bonus to AP when attacking. So she does have a really good leader skill. So maybe you can just use her as a leader skill if you... If like this is one, of, if you do pull this Andrea from this wheel, and she ends, she ends up being you know the you probably the most great leader skill 
tune that you have then definitely you know i probably would suggest maybe only incorporating her for that getting you that leader skill there it's actually not too shabby there and her stats you know for yellow are really really good her attack 793 her defense 793 as well and then her hp 1123 her persona is a leader and her trait like i said fast so um you know if you don't have like a victor or a ben or a davy you know leader skills like that which give you like a uh, bonus ap boost you know definitely i would incorporate her in there let's go ahead and move on to the next tune here which is the best best tune they incorporated into this wheel so um i obviously my eyes are on this ben he's one of the best leaders in the game so let's go ahead and check him out i'm sure you guys know all about this guy already so he has a 45 ap already you know already we love it we love it 45 ap recharge rate his adrenaline rush is great deals 250 percent damage to one enemy and all enemies adjacent so i mean he's, he doesn't pack that hard of a punch as you know let's say yellow sandy or man bun jesus but he does give that little punch there and then he just gives some crit if you want to use him for farming so definitely good for survival road and stuff like that his leader skill is what um, it makes him pretty much one of the greatest leaders in the game. All teammates get 30% defense against ranged characters, so that definitely comes in handy immensely, especially if you have like a Magna or a Conrad shield. They'll get that 35% defense against, you know, those Adreas that are going to try to take him out. And then all teammates get a minion bonus AP when attacking, so... And he has two of the best that can be in a leader skill that defense and also that medium bonus to ip when attacking so that's great there and his stats for yellow again not too shabby either seven six seven attack seven eight three defense and one zero nine nine for hp and his persona is a citizen and trait fast as i said so definitely one of the best tunes that they incorporated in this wheel um, no doubt about it so i definitely suggest guys you say you start saving those tokens for a really big pool I mean, if you're just that type of person that thinks they get lucky with just doing one at a time, then go ahead and do that. But I'm just the type of person that needs to save probably about 50 tokens to do this pull or something. I don't know. Uh, whatever the max is, I definitely want to save up because I would always uh, open the tokens right after war is done. So I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to wait a couple wars to open and hopefully get this bed and definitely really really want him i'm glad they put him in here they started putting really be better characters in this wheel so that's good um i did see a couple of other five stars like um uh, five star <laughs> red gregory um but you know he wasn't really worth mentioning there and i don't and i also did see five star um tough omid i don't know if he was always in there i just felt like he was but i may be wrong about that but o omid isn't bad um but i just didn't incorporate this i just incorporated the ones that were kind of a little bit more noteworthy and then the, um like i said in the beginning they they added some three stars and some four stars they added the kaja which is the, I hope I said that correctly, um, the three-star yellow shield that actually is needed for the museum collection. So I don't know if you guys knew that either. So definitely that a little bit more stuff, but definitely these are the tunes that I just showed you are, you know, pretty, you know, unique in that aspect of this wheel. So definitely, guys, I would suggest saving those elite character tokens for a big pull, the max pull you can do on here and try to get, you know, a Ben or, um, you know, maybe that Hobo Rick. I mean, he, even though he is a 58 AP recharge rate, I mean, he's not bad in my opinion. So definitely it'd be cool to get these characters. So definitely, you know, good luck, guys. If you, you know, save up for a big pull and you pull, Definitely, you know, tell me your favorite tune in this wheel. I like, like you guys already know, it's been, been for me. So tell me, you know, your thoughts about it. So yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a like and a subscription. It would mean the world to me, guys. Also, comment down below if you have any questions about the video. Anything, um, just anything random or you just want to say hi. I will always comment back. I will always comment back. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.